Hello everyone to part two of the tutorial for the Amanda blanket. In the first part we finished the blue with the bobbles and now we're going to move along to the red granny stitch um, which shouldn't really be too difficult for anyone. Uh, so this is where we're going. We're going to start with a slip stitch and we're going to work in between I'm going to move this up so you can see better in between the double crochets normally you would work in the V's but we're going to work in between so we're going to let me grab my yarn over here I'm going to back this up a little so we have more space um we're going to start with the you can start with Normally I would do that alternating turning chain, but I'm going to start with a double crochet. I mean with a slip stitch on this because we're going to do three stitches in the one and I don't want this to be wider. So however you like to start yours, we're going to, I'm not going to, well, all right, I'm going to start on this side. Oops. Make sure that you're working with your uh, bobbles facing you. We're going to work on the front side from now on. This is the front side. So let's come over here. This is the corner. And we're going to start in between, in between the third and fourth double crochet. One, two, three, four. So we're going to start here. Um, so however you like to start yours, I'm just going to slip stitch on. So I've got my yarn on my hook. And I'm going to go in between those third and fourth, and I'm going to do a slip stitch. I want to make sure I stay in frame this time. And you're just going to slip to join. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Trying to work around it. I should probably just look through the camera lens. It would probably yeah. make or the phone lens. It would make it easier. Okay, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Tighten this up so you don't have a big messy knot thing there and I need to grab yarn already uh, then we're going to do two double crochet in between those stitches and if you remember that it's yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're going to do that one more time so that there is one chain three and two double crochet in there and uh, let me read. I can't remember if I, I think I did a chain one. Uh, I have to read the directions. Nah. One, two, change color to red. Slip, chip, chain one. Yep. So we're going to do the chain one and we're going to skip three and we're going to do three double crochet in between the next, which would be the what three four five six and seventh stitch we're going to do three double crochet and then we're going to chain one and continue that all the way down to the end of our blanket where we'll do our corner the corners on all this will be um one double crochet chain two let's go back to the front here you'll be one double crochet chain two one double crochet in the corner and then continue on uh skipping three in the double crochet all the way around i'll meet you at the end of this row though back to that corner okay so i'm down here at the end and i am putting in the this will be 11 and then I'm going to go into the corner. Now I'm crocheting over. I just want, you know, be sure to crochet over your end so you don't have to deal with them so much later. So now in the corner, I said it was going to be one double crochet. I'm at one granny cluster. So you're going to go three double crochet as a granny cluster, granny stitch, whatever you want to call it. And then I chained two in the corner. And then one granny cluster starts the other you know the next side so three double crochet and then we're going to chain one and skip the first three one two three and come into here 
and continue on all the way around your square. You should have 13 on each side. Now this first side only has 12 until you get back here. We'll have to finish, you know, do that whole corner. So we'll do that um, when I get all the way around there. Okay, so now I'm at the corner and we're going to do the final granny for this side. And chain two. And then we're gonna come around here I have to turn my work and we are going to put the final granny in this side. So this is now we're going to be back to the first side and the original granny square or granny stitch. So we're still going to chain one and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first original chain three. And then you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. And slip stitch until again until you get into the first chain space so you will have 13 granny squares on each side or granny stitches 13 okay, granny so stitches on each side I have a question okay move yours please I'll move mine okay so I I'm gonna take my hook off I granny squared it Right. Chained two, right. granny squared it, chained one, slip stitch. This is actually a our original chain three right here. Right. And so now I slip stitch again into here or in the V? Um, you're going to slip stitch. Wait, because see how I didn't slip into a V? I slipped into the hole. Okay. You're here, just... I'm just going to take it out and show you. All right. Okay, so I chained one. This is where we're at. Right. So now I'm going to... Oh, I don't even know if these people can see. I was just showing you, actually. Yeah, they can see. Okay. You're so, sideways, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to slip stitch into Not, here. No, no. Like, just run your uh, run your hook right up into, into there. here. Oh, yeah. So I'm going in the V now, because I didn't go in the V on the other ones, but that's okay. Yeah, Krista from The Secret Yarn says, just, no, now you just slip stitch, so this just gets oh, pulled through here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's just slip stitch to connect, and then you're going to go into there. Into here, and slip stitch again. Slip stitch again. Oh, pull just through. Just pull through. Can they see? Yep, you're doing good. With your nice pink vacation. Beach nails, yeah, beach yeah. Beach nails, and then one more time into the chain space. Into the chain space, another slip stitch. Right, right. Pull through. But I'm. what am I pulling through, actually? Well, just keep going. Just keep going. Okay, because just keep now, swimming. And okay, now, now we're gonna, where you are. Right. And now we're going to chain three. Okay. And make a granny stitch in that. Oh, just like we did on the first one. But now we're down a little farther. One. Two. Three. And then two more double crochets right into here. And then a chain one. And, and then, then you're going to go. Into in, this hole. Into that chain space. Perfect. Cool. Thanks. Hey, sure. That's. Well, now we know what to do. So, as we just said, we're going to chain three, two, three, and we're going to make two more, or two double crochet in the first chain space, chain one, and then we're going to go to the next chain space and make a granny stitch, which is, as we know, three double crochets. And we're going to chain one and continue that all the way around or all the way down. When you get to your corner, you're going to do the corner granny. So the, uh, you know, the three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets and all the way around. And you had 13 double crochets in this round, which was really round two. This will be round three and you'll have... Uh, 14 in this one. I don't know why it only increases by one, but that's what it did on my original pattern. So I don't understand, but that's what happened. Uh, and then we'll do one more row of this. So you will have three rows of double of granny squares, and then we'll change to the white. So I'll meet you at the end of the third row. And we'll start from there. Well, sure. Okay, so now I know I had said three rows, but it's really four. <laughs> I like 
went back and looked at my thing and looked at looked at my completed blanket and looked at my pattern. Yep, four rows, not three rows of granny. So I've completed the fourth row, which gives us 16 uh, squares in, or 16 granny stitches in each. And we're going to slip stitch to join. After you chain one. Right, do your chain one and then slip stitch to join. And then like little John's yarn said, if you slip stitch a couple of times more, now, Mind you that when we will be no, don't slip stitch. Don't that's not a good slip stitch to join, and we're gonna cut our yarn. Um, don't do the slip stitch over like we did in the other parts, okay. so that we don't have to weave in, because we're going to be doing back post stitches in this next round, and I'm afraid that if we've got slip stitches, it'll just make it harder. I don't know if I slip stitch to join. Well, you got got it together, right? So we well... slip. So, okay. okay, so you slip stitch to join, and then I I always like to like chain one, and then we'll pull it tight. So, we'll cut the yarn, give us some, stitch to join. yeah. Okay, pull and pull, and then, and then we're going to, like, you slip, slip, slip stitched? I think I did. Okay, look, uh, you're together, right? I mean, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So then you cut the yarn. And oh, so you did a chain one? I I, I mean cha I chained one in between my grannies, but then I didn't chain one. Then I just have this loop I don't know what to do. I got to cut the yarn and pull it through. Yeah. Okay. So Perfect. here's the scissors. All right. Thank you. And then we're going to get our white yarn out. Okay. And I'll get it off of here. So now, let me get my own little stuff out of the way. We're going to be doing this part, this back post. These are all back post double crochets. And I know particularly in this row, it's really kind of hard to tell. But there is a, um, a chain one. A chain one, yeah. That, and it's above this chain one. Uh, so that that kind of kept that row going. So what we're going to do on the corners on this row is going to be one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. That's how the corners are going to be on here. So we're going to start in a corner. Um, if you like to do the standing double crochet, feel free to do that. Or you can do a slip knot and um, An alternate chain. chain three. Or, well, no, you can't do, yeah, you can't do that alternate thing. So, if you've never done a standing double crochet, I'm going to give you a little clue. I've learned this stitch from Mikey. So, you have your slip knot on your hook. Where are we again? On the corner? In the corner. Same corner, same row, doesn't matter. It doesn't, any corner, any, any corner, corner you like. like. Yeah, Okay. So you start with your slip knot and you're going to be in your corner here. You're going to yarn over and hold on to those so that they can't get away from you. Hold on to your yarn over and your slip knot. Okay. Yarn and your slip knot. Mm -hmm. You're going to insert your hook through the corner. Through the corner. Lay your, I like to lay my tail on there. Mm -hmm. If you can do that. Then you're going to pull up a loop. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So that is a standing double crochet. This this is my tail that I'm crocheting under. Oh, okay. Oh. You don't have to. But you have like your knot hanging there? It's the top of your... Okay. Well, it's whatever. You don't have to crochet. You don't have to lay that under. And in this stitch, it really doesn't matter because we're going to be going around to do back post double crochets See how so mine is? You, you'll have right that's fine okay. so if you don't crochet your oh, your it, your tail under it's going to look like this and you can pull it tight and make that not hardly even there and then <laughs> you grab the wrong end of your yarn no no i didn't i thought i did oh I okay I had to start all over. 
So now we're going to do three double crochet, back post double crochet, which means you're going to yarn over, come from behind. I always do this wrong. Put your hook behind and you're going to go around the post and you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Pull through two and pull through two. So this first one will not be a back post because it's your initial and there's nothing to go around. So let's do that again. You yarn over. You're going to come from behind your work. Uh-huh. Are you put... you're not going in the V? Nope, we're going around the post. These stitches oh. are made around the post. So okay. So you're going to yarn, yarn over. over. Going to put your hook work. behind your work. Pull up a loop. Go in front of your post. Nope, nope, nope. You come from behind. I did come from behind. Oh, okay, and then a. No, you got to put it. You got to push that post behind. I'm just gonna. Okay. You're gonna just do okay. what you have to do, and then I'll start over. Okay, so you come. So all right, so let's start over. Yarn over, pull your hook from behind, go around that post, and stick your hook back out the back. That's when you yarn over and pull up a loop and you're going to come around your post. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. One more time. Yarn over, come behind your work, stick your, you're going to take your hook and push that post behind you. Come out the other side, pull up your yarn to pull up a loop. So you're working now on the side kind of of that post. And then you're going to go through two and go through two again. Chain one to go over this space. So whenever you get to that space, you chain one. So the back post is yarn over, go behind. You can see better in this hole. So I'm taking my hook and I'm putting it in this hole and I'm pushing that post behind there. So that my post is here. That's what I'm going to grab my yarn. I'm going to pull it around the post and up the back. And then you yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. So we're going to do back post double crochet on every stitch. And you're going to chain one on every chain one space. That's going to give us this ridge where the red sticks out. It's going to give you a really nice ridge right there. And it's, I think it's really super sharp. You get a little bit of the white tone and then this um, ridge sticking out. So we're going to go and do that all the way around. When you get to the corner, your last stitch will not, it will be the first stitch of your corner and it will not have a post. So I will come back to you at the corner and show you what we're doing. Um, in the meantime, let's see what Amanda's doing. Well, it's a hot mess. I'm sure it's not a hot mess. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera. It might be a little sideways, don't you? Okay, let's well, stick this just... behind. Okay. Okay, there. Well, I did my chain. The, the Okay. Okay. I did my chain, but I really hate... Well, we'll weave that in later, so don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, but see how the knot... Like, okay. okay, you can pull that tight. No, I can't. Yes, you can. See, I don't like that. See, the knot's gone. But see that, like, right there? You won't even see that, when you because you're going to... When you come around... Because this is the first part of your corner. So when we come back Well, no up, one can see anything. This is the first stitch of your corner. So when you come back around and what you do... What is the first stitch of my corner? The stitch that you just put in oh. here. This white stitch is the first stitch of this corner. Mm -hmm. Well, and when you come around, back around... Yeah, yeah, you're just like crochet. the other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I got so you, then I got you. you're going to chain two, and you're going to come in here, and you're going to come in there. And you're going to... Yeah, just whatever. So you won't even see that little thing there. I just don't think it looks nice. Well, if you don't like that, you can just slip stitch and chain three. That's what I think I'd rather do. Okay. You can do that. Okay. So, make my little thingy. And pull it tight. Oh, sorry, guys. And then into... You're going to go in the corner space. Well, yes. So you're going to do a, a slip stitch to join it. So. 
pull it through. Mm -hmm. and, and now just chain three. This is much nicer for me. I like okay. that the knot's down at the bottom. Okay, One, and you can tighten that and make that knot not two. that loop. This yarn's a little bit, so um, the my red yarn is um, the the uh, big twist or whatever that's called. Mm -hmm. And this is the Karen one pound. This is much stiffer. I think I'm going to like crocheting with it stiffer. I don't know. I can tell already. Okay, so now... So you can pull this. If you don't like that being big, you should be able to pull this and make that... Oh, yeah, that's nice. Like Make that disappear. Okay. Okay. So now you're going to yarn over. Yarn? Okay, I need you to scoot over. Because I can't... Well, or I can just go down on my knees. <laughs> and then we're the same height. How funny yeah, is that? Yeah, when I... Yeah. All right, so I have to be able to hold my yarn right or my okay. yarn over won't work. So I'm going to put my hand around maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't worry about the camera. I'll deal with the camera. You deal with my yarn over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yarn over. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to come from behind your work. Yeah, that's This way, I... around this first one. Oh, what do you mean around it? Okay, so you're going to so take So this your... is the first stitch. Right. Like, okay, so. What that's you... your first post. But I'm not coming in the V's up here like normal. No, no, no. Okay, you're, so, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Just don't coming, get ahead of me. Don't get I'm ahead of me. You are. Just wait. Okay, so do that. I'm coming behind on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to push that post back. What do you mean? This? Get it out of the Yep, and you're going to come out the other side. And then pull up a loop? All the way through. Up on this side? Nope, come all the way back out. What do you mean? All the way back through here. Like that? Keep going. Where? All the way there. And now yarn over. Pull through two. I hate this hook. <laughs> pull through two. Yarn over. Pull, pull through, through two. two. Okay. See, that's how you get that ridge because your white yarn here yarn is pushing over. your pull, red. Just hold on. Yarn over. Go back through. Now this one. Mm -hmm. Come back back mm -hmm. back 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 <laughs> backing it up girls okay then <laughs> pull through two pull through two that's how you get your ridge but yours looks so much better Amanda, you've done two stitches okay wait yarn over now what do we do okay wait wait no, wait wait coming, coming on this side um next to you yep right there mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. through here yep pull mm -hmm. keep 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 back yep. it on up and Run. then finish your double crochet okay but I, hold it i'm not Take ready to there through 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 there and now i'm going to chain one chain one okay chain one got it now just skip over and come all the way back pull one through because right, your chain one is your yarn chain over. one here okay yarn over Back it up, back it up, back it, back it, back it. Easy breezy, right? I mean, hold on. <laughs> Don't get out of yourself. <laughs> Yarn over. Sneak a deek. Right. Pull it in. Just a little sneak around the corner. Wrap around. <laughs> <laughs> Pull. Pull. I got it. But I want to see. See, no, no, no. No, they're fine. Look at that one. What? Well, just keep going. You just keep going. That's what I'm learning about crochet. Because that one's like so, look how loose, tight. Start over, right? No, just keep going. Just keep going. This is what we have we crochet around here. You did the stitch correctly, so just keep but going. But one's way tighter. Who cares? Okay, you got a piece of crap hook. There we go. She's working with Wait. A, with the Susan. I'm not a, used to having this hook, it, but I forgot my actual hook because I came after work. Um, okay, so since I have this guy here, I know I'm going into this one. Right. Okay, so. It doesn't have white on it. That's the next one that's red. You go there. You back. Sneak through. Wrap around. Hold it. Hold it. Don't drop Do your hand. Reach around. Reach around. <laughs> like the baseball players, little freaks. Okay, 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 and see, you're fine. I don't pull it. There you go. Okay, 
See now, though? What? It's, it's too. Fine. I don't it's know. Fine. Quit saying it's fine when I know I don't like it because why is this one so tight and these ones are all loose? I like how it looks. Well, yeah. Well, these are loose because you didn't know what you were doing. They're brand but new I, stitches. But they look You've better like that. It'll be fine. I mean, you could take it. You could frog it. If no, you I want hate to. to frogging. Okay, then shush up and go on. Okay, so chain one. <laughs> chain one. Chain one. Move along. This yarn's way stiffer than the Karen one pound, but I feel like Karen one pound white is way stiffer than my Karen. I have another Karen one pound that's like navy or something. It's way less stiff than the white. Why? Sometimes the dyes make a difference in the softness of a yarn. Well, I'm going to tell you so far because we had that, this is that, um, this navy is that blue that we got with that one haul that was supposed to match. That didn't match. What was yeah. that yarn? I can't that remember. was a red heart uh, yeah, the, comfort or something. Yeah, so it doesn't actually match. So if you bought that, you know that we were all excited because it matches, but it doesn't. Um, but it's close. It's it's nice yarn to work with the blue. But this and this is my favorite. Big Twist so far has been my favorite to work with. But this, I don't know that, that I like the stiff yarn so much. The good news is usually the stiff yarn softens when you wash it. Yeah, that's what you said. Oh, behind, behind it. Right. Back post. Reach around. A little perv. <laughs> you got to tell yourself a story. That's how you remember the stitches. Well, that's how I do anyways. Yarn over. Reach around. Sneak in the back door. <laughs> reach around. Okay. Got it? Yeah. I still don't like how mine's all loose and tight. Well, once you're not working around the camera, yeah. guess what? It'll probably be easier for you. Well, I don't want so it to be you, ugly. Why don't you try that a couple of times without being around the camera and see how it looks. I'm okay. sure you'll like it. So, all right. So, I'm doing this all the way around. What happens when I get to the corner? Well, then we'll come back and show them. Oh, okay. See you guys in a minute. <laughs> Watch. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Keep this, this way. Pretty nails. Peace. <laughs> So back to reality here. We're gonna do this. Um, <laughs> reality. <laughs> you were in Amanda's crazy head. <laughs> so we're going to do this back post double crochet uh, for six rows. So if you understand the stitch, you know what you're doing. You can just go on ahead. Um, otherwise, we will meet you back here at the end. Remember, the corners are one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And then back posts on everything else um, for a total of six rows because they're short. You know, when you do the back post, it takes up half of your stitch. Oh, I'm sorry. You can see here like half of the stitch is missing on your height of your crochet, your double crochet in the row below. So I needed to make it six rows to kind of equal out the height of the rest of, you know, of the, the, section so uh again we will catch it at the corner and we'll do the one corner and then i think you guys can probably handle the back post double crochets um uh, when you get to the end you'll slip to join and chain you know you'll be in a corner um so we'll, we'll probably do the first corner or the first start of the second row anyway so the one thing about working with the back posts um normally i would be crocheting this uh tail in and i i don't know i can't figure out how to do that when i'm doing the back post to crochet your tails in um so we'll have to just use a darning needle at the end sorry Sorry, I, don't, I just don't have a tip for you on how to do that because I seriously can't figure it out myself. Um, and, okay, I will see you at the end. Okay, so now I'm coming up to my corner. I have one more back post here on the third stitch of my granny. So now, obviously, there's no stitch to back post, so we're just going to do into the hole the chain two space 
a double crochet and we will chain two and then we're going to come back and do a double crochet in the same chain two space and then we're going to uh, start with our back post double crochets again all the way around to the next side so when we get back to the original start um, I'll come back to you this uh, like I said there will be six rows of this back post double crochet uh, if you've got that and you want to move ahead uh, the next will be um, four more rows of grannies in the red so if you uh, want to jump ahead uh, if you're fine with this the whole rest of this pattern um, I'm just gonna go over this real quick with you um, because if you are a crocheter an experienced crocheter this the rest of this I'm gonna back it up a little bit here on my thing so this is your first granny set this is what we're working on currently six rows of back post double crochets then we're gonna go four six rows well in order to make it the same height oh because because it was four grannies six whites this will be four grannies again four grannies again then when we get to the next set of um white, white this is just three double crochet chain one three double crochet uh, and that's only four rows because it'll give you the same height um, but the first row will be back post to give us our our little lip and then we'll do four more rows of grannies in the red and then this is a combination of double crochet chain one and back post double crochet chain one double crochet chain one back post double crochet chain one so um amanda won't be here for us to get through all of this today um that's why i'm going to give you the pattern ahead because we will end this at this video at the end here with homework to at least have this part of the grannies the second the second set of red grannies done because when we pick up in the next video we're going to start here um i know it's a short video uh for a tutorial type of video this is a short part to say you know we're done here but it's actually taking us several hours because you know we're doing the actual crochet and and I'm slow. I can't help it. It's my first time. No, you're fine. You're doing fine. You're doing. I mean, it's not my first time ever crocheting, but. But you've been crocheting like three months, so. <laughs> yeah, but all the same project for the same three months. I no, like. that no. You've created a lot of things. Yeah. So back to the tutorial stuff. We're gonna do, uh, and I will meet you back when we get back to the beginning of this row, so we can see how the next stitches are gonna go here because it's a little bit different each row, but each row is the same. <laughs> same but different that makes great sense right um and then we'll be back to the grannies so uh i will meet you when i get myself back to the end of the first row of back post doubles okay so i don't know if you can see this let's move it up a little so now i'm back here at the end i'm going to do my last back post double and then the end of my corner stitch so just a single one double crochet and then I'm going to chain my two and we're going to slip stitch into like right here the beginning of your original if you chain three or whatever however you did that okay now on this So this is still the corner so I'm going to not uh, so I slip stitch to join now we have to do the next row now before we get to this chain there's going to be four stitches we're not going to actually do the corner here so we're just going to go around I think and do our back post double crochet for the first one And then we're going to do another 
Oops, I did a front post. Oh, geez, Louise. Oops, start over. So we're going to go around and do a back post double, which is a little bit more difficult on the first stitch. Maybe we should chain one. I don't think I did. So we're going to... I can't get it to come up. There we go. So we're going to do a back post double and a back post double. So now this time we'll have four back post doubles before we do our chain one. And the next row. Then we'll chain one. Then the next row there'll be five back post doubles. And probably I didn't do that very well. I don't like the looks of that, so let's chain one and try that. It's been a while since I did this, but we're still going to do the back post double. Yeah, there you go. The chain one works. You did your whole first row around. And then, then we're going to chain one. And so the same will be at the end. Um, when you come down to the other end here, there's going to be four back post doubles before you get to your corner and do your, you know, just regular double crochet, chain one, chain two, double crochet. Um, when you come back to this corner, you, you have to make the whole corner. Um, you only have your back posts. So you'll do a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and join to this. And we're going to do that for a total of six rows. Then we're going to go back and do the granny stitch, and you can join anywhere on a granny. Um, and you will do four rows of, of granny stitches. Uh, and then that's where we'll meet you back at the end of the fourth row of granny stitches after six rows of back post doubles. So see you in the next video. Okay, so I am back. I took the white away underneath here, hoping <laughs> that maybe it would make it easier to see, but you're really looking at the blue of the background anyway. So <laughs> that's funny. So I'm at the last, I finished the last double uh, back post double crochet. And now I'm going to make the first part of the corner, the double crochet, chain two. I already have the double crochet for this side. So now I'm going to slip stitch to join. And I'm going to chain three to start the next round. Now we're going to do a back post double crochet around this. Let me get more in the middle here. Uh, around this double crochet below so it's going to be a little bit tricky because you have to go like push this chain three aside go around the back post of this one and just disregard the tail and you're going to pull up your loop and it's going to kind of like come up between your double crochet below and your chain three and you're going to do your regular and then another back post. So this round, at the start of each, uh, and at the end of each row, you will have four back post double crochets where we did three the first time. You'll have four before you get to your chain two. So, I mean your chain one space. Um, so what we're doing is adding a stitch each round to the beginning before we get to our chain. So we're not like getting three and then doing another chain. We're just keeping the count the same, you know, adding the one with the corner, but we're not changing where this goes. Um, so when I get here, I'm going to do a double crochet here because it's over that double crochet. So now you've got four back posts. Next row, you'll have five back posts before you get to the chain one. So that does increase on every single round. You're going to do six rounds of this. 
Um, other than that change, that's the only thing that's different is that you're going to do um, additional chains here. Now, when you get back to this corner, um, you haven't done any part of the corner on this one. Because that's your, oh yeah, you did. What am I talking about? Your chain three is the first part of your corner. And then the next round, you'll go around this as the first stitch. Um, just like we did here. So you always have the first part of your corner will be your chain three up, you know, that you chained up. And you'll add one stitch before you get to the first chain one space, which is here. And on this side, it will be the same way. You will add one stitch between the chain one space and the corner so it'll be that way all the way around you will do six rounds of these back post double crochets then you will uh, change color back to your red or your second color um, and work four rows of uh, the granny squares so if you want to know how to do that again if you are new and you, you don't understand just rewind the video Back to where we started on this um, and then that's where we'll end this video is your homework is to do six rows of back post double crochets you can weave in your ends um, and four rows after that of grannies and then we'll come back to start on the white uh, the next time I can get Amanda <laughs> I can trap Amanda down um, at the same time that I have time which has been uh, the most, the hardest part <laughs> of, of doing this besides some technical difficulties that I've had. Uh, so anyway, uh, I appreciate you watching and sharing and making my blanket, uh, my Amanda's Patriotic Blanket. It's so very cool to have people working on something that I designed, I think is awesome. Um, I hope, I, I don't think we'll be able to have this done before 4th of July, which I really am sorry about um 4th of July 2020 uh but it would be done for Labor Day <laughs> I guess for uh USA holidays um holidays here in the states uh that's the best I got for you the pattern is pretty easy to follow I think on the actual pattern itself if you and if you know this this part the rest is just a combination of granny squares and how you do the double white double crochets so i'll see you in the next part of this video as soon as i can and i will get this one uploaded as quickly as possible have a great day bye